Hi, this is Zach with Warner Wound. Today I'll be taking a look at two watches from the Raven watch brand. Uh, clearly they are both inspired by uh, Rolex uh, Submariners, but they're actually very different watches with very different uh, uh, motivations and goals. So here we have the Raven Vintage 40 millimeter, and this is a kind of a strictly an homage watch to a very famous uh, Rolex Submariner reference, which I'll discuss uh, in a little while. And then you have the Raven 44 millimeter deep, which takes the looks of a couple of classic models, and mixes them together to make a very serious uh, dive watch with a very high water resistance. Uh, they're both fairly affordable, this one being 580 and this one being $700. And uh, let's take a closer look. So the Raven Vintage 40 millimeter, um, which actually comes in two styles, one with date and one without date. Here we clearly have the date model. is inspired by the uh, Rolex Submariner reference 6358. Uh, model, which was a model, I believe, first made in 1958, popular through the early 60s. That is famous because it is the model that Sean Connery wore in uh, James, as James Bond in Dr. No. Um, so there's that famous kind of scene where he's got it on his wrist, and he's holding a lighter up that you'll see the watch very clearly. And what makes this um, kind of what style details make this one distinct are the uh, gold hand, the gilt dial, which you can see there's this kind of light brown ring around the edge. Um, as well as this uh, bezel insert, which is different from later models and has a red triangle at top. And then one other large difference is that this one was also referred to as the Big Crown 6358. There's no crown guards and a sizable crown. And later uh, Submariner models um, <clears throat> have crown guards. So at auction, these things run for you know, tens of thousands of dollars. So this is an homage to that watch. Um, and now what Raven did, they did some actually really nice detailing on this um, that you know inspire the, the original feeling of kind of a the vintage Submariner. Uh, the 40 millimeter case here, which is brushed, has these really nice kind of delicate uh, polished lines running across the very edge here, which uh, is a really great detail. Um, they have this uh, large screw down crown with the Raven logo on it. Uh, and then this aluminum bezel insert here. Uh, the gilt dial, as it's called, which refers to like a gold line, isn't actually a real gold, it's more sort of a faux gold, so it's like a light golden color rather than made of actual gold, but it gets the, the effect across and obviously keeps uh, the price down. Uh, now also in this model you have a uh, high domed uh, acrylic crystal here, you know, which I personally really like. I love that it kind of, you know, brings home that, uh, that vintage feeling. The loom on the Raven 40 millimeter vintage is uh, actually very potent. It's a super C3 Super Luminova. Uh, they did a really good job, you know, uh, applying it so they'd be very strong here, which just makes this homage watch, I think, all the more wearable as a, as a kind of a daily watch. The 44 millimeter uh, deep model, um, unlike the vintage model, is actually, I think, trying to be a true functioning kind of a, a dive watch for those who are looking for that, but is uh, still clearly inspired by vintage uh, Submariner references. So you have a couple of different models actually kind of incorporated here. Uh, first is the uh, 5517 mil sub, um, which is the same model that the Steinhardt OVM is based on. And you can see that in the uh, hour, the Roman sword hour hand there and the kind of extra large uh, markings on the dial, as well as in this um, actually sapphire bezel insert um, markings for the individual minutes, which was exclusive to the 5517 reference, uh, to my knowledge. But then you also have um, some cues from models from the early 60s, such as the 6358 we were talking about before. So you have the red triangle uh, for 0, 060 minute on the bezel and the crown free case design. Um, but, you know, as I said, this is a kind of a much more serious diver. So it actually has a uh, 1,220 meter uh, dive uh, water resistance or 4,000 feet, which, you know, is, is, a, is quite a lot. Um, and this really massive case. So it's 44 millimeters, as the name states, by 54 millimeters lug to lug, 22 millimeter lug width, and then it's gigantically tall uh, 18 millimeter height. Um, and that's partially due to, you know, just a very thick case and very kind of robust design, as well as um, a very uh, high domed uh, sapphire crystal, which is a very smooth and elegant, very uh, actually nice uh, sapphire crystal there. Um, one other thing is they added here on the, on the uh, left side around 9 o'clock is an automatic helium escape valve. That's something that you look for. Um, and the case design uh, kind of stays true to the other Raven we talked about with these really nice little polished lines running down the crowns that break up the sheen of the watch and I think it's a kind of a really elegant look. 
and this very large and graspable crown here. Um, the loom on this watch is also outstanding. Um, the sapphire crystal, all of these markings are loomed, so it really glows very potently, as well as all the markings in the hands on the dial. The Raven Vintage comes with uh, three straps. Uh, one is this oyster style uh, bracelet with a uh, you know, very, very nice build quality and it matches the finish of the watch perfectly. So you have this brushed uh, kind of satin finish going uh, across the, uh, the top grain of this. And then it comes to these uh, really, really nicely uh, matched uh, end pieces that really fit perfectly into the case to create like a kind of a nice seamless uh, blend there. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice strap. It's very easy to uh, change the buckle, the, the length on. It's a screws from two sides, which is always great. And you have the deployment clasp uh, with uh, the little Raven logo there. Um, while, you know, I really like the look of this, um, it also comes with uh, a leather NATO. It's like dark kind of chocolate leather. And then this five stripe uh, pa single pass through uh, kind of bond strap. But I'd like to show it to you on one other strap for that kind of true uh, James Bond look, which is this regimental colored strap. So I'll show that to you now. So for the uh, true kind of a James Bond via Dr. No look, you'll want to uh, put this watch on a, a regimental black, red, green uh, NATO strap. Uh, this is actually a single pass through uh, strap from Maritac that they call their uh, mill series, but you can find NATOs like that. And they just, you know, it, it's a very nice look, but it is exactly what Sean Connery wore, or rather it's a close, uh, close look. The Raven 44 millimeter deep is a very, very large watch, as I had said. Um, it's probably a little bit too big for me, but it also has like, you know, really nice substantial watch feeling. Uh, the largest dimension, of course, you'll notice is the 18 millimeter height. Um, but that being said, on uh, this leather strap here, it doesn't uh, weigh too much. It, you know, and it has actually, it is actually fairly comfortable, but it is a big beefy dive watch. Uh, it comes with two straps, um, a, an oyster style bracelet like the uh, Raven uh, Vintage model, but then also this very soft um, black model, uh, leather model, which has kind of a, a new buck kind of like a finish to it. It's a very soft, very nice strap. I think kind of lightens the overall feeling of the watch, making it you know a little bit better for uh, casual daily wear. Both Raven models uh, come in a box that features uh, this five uh, watch watch roll, roll, which I'll show you now. It's uh, black, it's made out of this kind of a tough durable material. It has this Velcro strap, undo it, you open it up and you get this uh, five watch watch roll, which I just put both watches in here just to show you. So, you know, here I have the deep and here I have the the vintage model. Um, you know, it's nice for this to come with because obviously you can use it for traveling. Um, it's just a, a nice little perk for the watches. So to wrap up the uh, two Raven watches that we talked about today, the uh, 44 millimeter deep and the 40 millimeter vintage are uh, two really interesting um, watches that offer great value. Um, clearly they are both uh, Submariner inspired, but they have very different uh, motives and a different outcome entirely. So the uh, vintage model here, which is a smaller model, 40 millimeters, runs uh, $580. And it's like a fun homage watch to a classic um, early 60s uh, Submariner, specifically one that Sean Connery wore in James Bond, which, you know, is very cool, makes a lot of fun. And then the uh, deep model here, which is a very large, massive diver with a high water resistance, takes inspiration from various models and uh, puts them into kind of a real tool diver uh, body. So, um, you know, if you're looking for kind of a more serious watch with those looks um, and have, you know, need some real dive credibility, you know, that might be the watch for you. Um, either way, I think they offer really great value and uh, really great build quality, componentry, everything like that. So uh, read the full review at warnerwound.com. Thank you for watching. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram.